Hello my dear students. Welcome back. This is Dr. Renil Rai, Department of Physics, Uka Tarsadev University, Bardoli, Gujarat. Today we are going to discuss the topic that is fabrication of ICs, that is integrated ICs. As fabrication of integrated ICs is itself a very huge topic, in our, our previous video we have discussed the various active and passive components which are used to fabricate the integrated ICs. Also, we have discussed the category and types of the different different types of the ICs which are available commonly into the market. Now, in integrated IC, there is one silicon based or maybe in some cases germanium based chip. That chip is basically a heart of the integrate, integrated IC. And this integrated IC is commonly available in every market and has chip inside that IC is the heart. This chip is embedded on a particular case. There are the contacts which are come so which are taken out, and that contacts generally made from the gold wire, and it will be shouldered by to these legs so in this video we are basically discuss about this how this chip came to integrated ic so before going to this uh, chip how the raw material of the chip that is silicon is made in such a small size so basically a silicon is available market available in the market in the vapor form and that vapor form is cut into particular shape and that particular shape processed tested and then finally cut into particular small pieces and that small pieces single piece act as a one one process and that used for the different different applications now how these wafers, how these silicon wafers can be fabricated. So let's see the steps for the fabrication of the silicon wafer. So in the silicon wafer manufacturing process, uh, molten silicon in the polycrystalline form will be heated. A rod is pulling out slowly. Also it will rotate at particular speed, very slow speed. The pulling rate and the rotation will decide the size of the particular chip that is the second process after pulling completely pulled out the ingot it will be grind so the smooth surface will be obtained then it will be sliced again slice wafer will be grind for the smooth edges then lapped wafers for the flatness then a minor polish surface polish to remove the all the contamination during this whole manufacturing process and then finally organically clean that particular vapor so at the final stage this is the ingot the first ingot after pulling from the furnace and this is the final product after uh, cutting and scrubbing and polishing these are the wafers available in the market and these wafers processed uh, and uh, converted into the small chips there are lots of active and passive components imbibed on this particular one chip and this process that is silicon wafer to chip the fabrication of IC on the wafer is commonly known as the wafer fabrication so Wafer fabrication is a very huge topic again. So it will be divided into the five parts. Let's start with the wafer fabrication. What are the five steps? First one is cleaning. Second one is oxidation. Third one is a photolithography. Fourth one is a ion implantation. And last one is each. Let's uh, discuss the each step. Each step in the first one is cleaning. So what is cleaning? Why it will need it? So in after the fabrication of that particular silicon vapor, we need 
to clean for a, a perfect device manufacturing. So complex sequence of acid and alkyl solution are utilized to remove the particle, organic films, metals and pre-exist native oxide which may be there during the wafer, uh, wafer uh, fabrication process. So there is a, uh, one common cleaning process is there that is called RCA clean. It is the most common process used for the cleaning. It includes a four step. Basically it has a three step but the fourth one is maybe it will be needed as the, per the requirement the fourth step may be executed. The first step is SC1 that is standard clean one. It will remove the organic fields and particles. Second will remove the metals and third removes the silicon dioxide layers and fourth may include the sulfuric peroxide that removes the gross organic layers. In the second step is the oxidation step. step. Silicon is one of the key reason the most commonly used semiconductor and that is it is easy to work with one of the key factor is making silicon so easy to work with its ability to grow a high quality insulating layers on silicon very easy. The silicon dioxide is stable at high temperature an excellent barrier and excellent insulator. So before going to fabricate any PN junction, any PNP transistor, any fat, MOSFET. First we have to protect the silicon surface with silicon dioxide. So this is the main reason for the preparation of silicon dioxide on the top of the silicon wafers. Silicon wafers is generally heated and it will react with the oxygen and some of some micrometer layer of the silicon will be converted into the silicon dioxide. Next topic is next step is photolithography. This photolithography is a heart of wafer fabrication. It defines the pattern when it used to conjunction with the etching step that is the next step and can pattern deposited on the ground films and combined with the ion implantation can selectively change the property of the silicon. And the photolithography creates a pattern. If you want to make a transistor, if you want to make a diode, if you want to make a capacitor. So this step defines, this step creates that pattern according to the our active and passive components for uh, using photoresist. A photoresist is a liquid photosensitive chemical that resists the itching process. In short, a silicon with a silicon dioxide layer coat with a photosensitive photoresist. We used some kind of the mask. That mask is our a device uh, uh, pattern. That this mask is placed onto the photoresist applied a UV light. So UV light each the photoresist material and that open up our design area. That is called a developed photoresist. In next part this developed photoresist can be ion implant. So next step is ion implant. We are uh, implant the ions if you want to make a p-type, if you want to make an n-type, so we are uh, implant the ions according to the device requirement. So after removing the photoresistance, this is the stripped photoresist and uh, for ready for the etching. In the next step, these unwanted strips can be etched. So last step is each etch. etching process. In the etching process, there are two types of the etching process. One is a dry etching and second one is a wet etching. Wet etching is normally known for the its non-directional etching and the dry etching is known for its directional etching. In addition to that, wet etching is normally called as isotropic and dry etching is normally called as an isotropic etching. Wet etching uses a liquid chemicals, prime, primarily acid 
and each at the same rate in the all direction it's just like a drop if it drop if a water drops is uh, dropped in one surface it will spread in all direction at the same rate so this kind of the itching is like that it will spread out at every uh, direction so no control on the direction dry itching is use gases in an excited state to each materials and each in one direction faster than the other direction so it is the directional itching so by using these three test step these five steps we are draw we are pattern for one particular active or one particular passive components on a chip on a silicon or maybe a combination of active and passive components that makes a chip and finally putting all as shown in putting all in together step by step as per our requirement we can fabricate many transistor many resistor any its interconnected interconnection in one chip and that one chip is then cut in small pieces and molded in particular shape that is called a integrated ics so let's revise these topics in some kind of some small mcqs type so i have prepared some mcqs one is an ic has a size how the size how small how large is you have to answer it ics are used in which devices digital linear so what are the components which are can which can be fabricated in the ic is the active components which are the active components the role of sio2 and what are the components are difficult to produce in particular ics so you just uh, solve this mcqs and post it into the comment box so in uh, particular by solving this you can uh, visualize that how the fabrication process is that so in next uh, videos we will be discussing about the each and every uh, component individually that is how the diode can be fabricated how the capacitor can be fabricated how a transistor can be fabricated so that's all uh, this time thank you very much for your attention